In our morning rounds, a new option if you can't control your cholesterol with statins alone. Manufacturers today begin shipping a drug approved Friday by the FDA. This class of cholesterol fighters could protect millions of Americans from heart disease, but the price could send overall health care costs soaring. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. First, what's this drug and how does it work? Oh, it's such a great story, is that in a study of heart disease, there was a family of African-Americans with very low bad cholesterol, LDL, and almost no heart disease. And when they looked at their genes, a particular gene was turned off that made a protein. So a drug was made to do the same across the general population, and it worked. And Friday, it was approved in people that have a particular disorder of a very high cholesterol, and also people where statins doesn't work enough. So will these drugs replace statins? No, right now they're in addition to statins, and they probably will benefit significantly people who can't tolerate statins, which is anywhere from kind of 3 to 5 percent of the population. And so it is a very important drug, and it's the first big advance in preventing heart disease since the statins. As you were speaking, Dr. Agus, we showed an image of how expensive this injection is. I mean, yeah. it's an astronomical cost. Do you think it's worth it? That's the key question, is, you know, when you develop a new drug and you're the first out there, you have a monopoly. You can charge whatever you want, and insurers or patients have to pay, especially if it can have an impact on how well and how long you live. 14,000 a year times millions of patients is critical. And the thing about this drug, different than cancer drugs and other drugs, is you're on it for the rest of your life for many, many years. And so we as a society have to look at this and say, is this right? So you think this is one more tool in the toolbox? This is a, a fantastic tool, and I think there are going to be more and more tools as time goes on. And if each of them is priced successively higher, what are we going to do? I mean, this is predatory practice. You can price a drug at any price you want, and you have to pay. We have to figure out a way to assign value and appropriate pricing to drugs. The idea, David, isn't it, is that eventually competitive drugs come out and that drives the price down, but, but that doesn't always happen, does it? Now, this is one of the few businesses where competitors come and many times the price goes up. This is one of the few businesses Why, that every David? year, well, because they can. Um, every year you're out there, the drug price goes up, not down. And so we have to look at this. And when your competitor comes out, basically they take part of your market share and the company wants to make more, so they raise the price. We need to figure out a way to do this appropriately. We need to figure out a structure, how you can incentivize for innovation at the biotech and the pharmaceutical companies, and at the same time, not bankrupt society. All right, Dr. David Agus this morning, thank you.